What is up everybody? I get a lot of questions on like what's my daily keyboard, my mouse and all that stuff. And guys, you caught me in a lie. I actually never have got that comment before, but I had to make this video. And pretty much my daily keyboard is the Magic Keyboard. And I know like I have a lot of Apple products and stuff, but I used to have like a random generic Bluetooth keyboard before this, and that was just so messed up. I had so many problems with that keyboard. But when I got this, like my life completely changed, and I legit still like can't believe how good of a keyboard this is. Now it's not perfect, but let me just tell you the things I love about it, right? The greatest feature about this keyboard 100% is that it charges through a lightning cable. That has to be one of the best things about it, and especially looking forward. I mean, this thing came out in 2015, right? Looking forward in 2018, if you're gonna get it this year or the next year, Lightning is probably not gonna go anywhere. Apple makes so much money off Lightning connectors, it would be so dumb for them to remove it. But like the same cable that I charge my iPhone with and my iPad and my AirPods, I can easily charge this keyboard with too, so it's just so convenient. And the body is built awesome, the keyboards are clicky enough. I know a lot of people complain about the smaller keypads or key clicks or whatever, the, the, the buttons on the keyboard. I know a lot of people complain about them, but I don't think these are like bad at all. And apparently these are like the new butterfly switches or something. I don't really have a problem with it. And you know, using it for everything, I've typed papers with it. I used to write scripts for these videos and all that stuff. And I do a lot with a keyboard and having something like this, which is kind of like a counterpart to the original keyboard on my MacBook is really awesome and really intuitive. Now, like I said, this thing isn't perfect. One of the things I hate the most about this would definitely be that sometimes, I don't know why and how this happens, but when I randomly go into my computer and I just like type in my password or something, when I actually go and click the volume up or volume down buttons, this doesn't happen every day. It probably happens like once a week. When I click it, like randomly, like all the function keys up top get mixed with each other. So like when I click it, it'll end up doing something else. When I click like F2, for example, it'll end up doing something else. And all these buttons do weird things. The actual like buttons, the alphabet numbers and stuff like that work 100%. But when I go up there and I try to use those things up top, I do get some weird problems every once in a while, but I do think that might have something to do with the calibration of the MacBook. I mean, I got this thing brand new and it's definitely not a software thing because when I was on El Capitan, I had the same problem. And when I was on this one, High Sierra, and when I was on Sierra and High Sierra, I've had this problem too. So I'm not really too sure what happened in that case. And another weird thing, I don't know why, but the highest button up there, the top right button, it's like an eject tool for like your CD drive or something like that. I really wish we could remap this to do something else and maybe we can, I just don't know too much about it. But it's just kind of random to have that right there because we haven't had a MacBook with like a CD drive in a very long time. And I think this is more so for like the Mac minis or the iMacs or something with a CD drive. And I guess you could connect a CD drive to this that Apple makes, but I don't know, kind of random. Now that's enough of the negative. An awesome thing about this is that it lasts literally so long. I think I go well over a month. I could probably go like a month and a half easily without charging this thing. And the cool thing is, is because it connects to the MacBook and they're all like interlinked somehow, you are able to see the actual battery statistics of this and see you know, on the MacBook or on your macOS device and see how much it's charged, whether it needs to be recharged and all that stuff. And it actually gives you notifications when the battery's running low. So that's super cool and intuitive. I really love that. I don't think this keyboard's gonna break. I don't think like if I drop it, it's gonna f shatter anything. It doesn't seem like the sturdiest, but it's definitely built very, very good. Like I don't think it's gonna go anywhere anytime soon. And if you have the Magic Trackpad, they actually do link up pretty nice and they're almost the same size. So it's kind of cool to have both. And if you guys haven't picked one up and you're in the market for a Bluetooth keyboard, if you don't plan on doing any gaming or anything like that, I mean, I don't really know. This could probably be a gaming keyboard. I would highly suggest this. This thing definitely has my seal of approval. It's really cool. I like it a lot. Besides that little Bluetooth glitch every once in a while, I would still get this. I mean, if I broke this today, I would 100% go out and buy another Magic Keyboard. That's how much I'm so confident about this thing. And that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it at. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to pick one up. It'll be the first link down there. If you guys are planning on buying it, please get it through that link so then I actually get affiliate off that so then this channel can go and grow and all that stuff. That'll definitely mean so much. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button. That'll mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. We're actually still giving away an iPhone success and an iPhone SE on this channel. In order to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both those links are down in the description, so make sure you enter that. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.